Good morning, everyone, and happy Thursday. It is Julie here with your Tip Ranks pre-market morning update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back and thank you all so much for being here. As usual, this morning, we'll be taking a look at exciting stock market news, notable earnings reports, and which stocks are the morning's biggest gainers and losers. Make sure you have the Tip Ranks mobile app downloaded by following the links in the description down below so you can stay up to date with all of the latest market news and access your favorite research tools on the go. Now let's get right into this morning's exciting stock market news. U.S. stock futures are once again in the red this morning. Right now, Dow futures are down 0.5%, S&P 500 futures down 0.57%, and NASDAQ futures down 0.52%. Ford Motors has once again raised the price of their all-electric pickup truck, the F-150 Lightning. This will be the second price raise in recent months. According to a report from the Wall Street Journal, the new price for the 2023 F-150 Lightning Pro is $51,974. Customers who already placed their orders will not be affected by the price hike. Ford stated that the supply chain log jams, market factors, and increase in the cost of materials were the major reasons for the price hike. Analysts currently rate the Ford stock a moderate buy with an average upside of 29%. Shares of Shell are falling in the pre-market after the company provided updates for their third quarter, which is expected to report on October 27th. Amid a global macroeconomic slowdown, Shell's indicative refining margins dropped in Q3 to $15 a barrel from $28 a barrel in Q2. They expect this deceleration in margin is likely to have an adverse impact in the range of $1 to $1.4 billion on their adjusted EBITDA for the product's business in Q3. The company also said that their natural gas business is expected to have significantly lower trading results as a result of seasonality and substantial differences between paper and physical realization in a volatile and dislocated market. Analysts currently rate their stock a moderate buy with an average upside of 26%. General Electric is planning on slashing 20% of its workforce on its onshore wind turbine business. The move comes as part of a greater restructuring of its renewable energy unit, which saw a massive drop in demand and resulted in losses triggered by U.S. tax credit uncertainty, rising inflation, and labor shortages. Onshore Wind is the largest part of the renewable businesses at GE. The unit reported a loss of $853 million during the first half of the year due to rising costs and supply chain issues. The stock is currently rated a moderate buy with an average upside of 30%. And Costco Wholesale reported strong sales numbers for the month of September. Their September net sales grew over 10% year-over-year to $21.46 billion, reflecting the company's ability to thrive even in a challenging macro backdrop. Their comparable sales were up 8.5%, with sales growth in the U.S. and Canada offsetting the decline in sales from international markets. Analysts currently rate the Costco stock a strong buy with an average upside of 16%. Now moving over to notable earnings reports. In the after hours today, we'll be hearing from Levi Strauss and Accolade. In the pre-market this morning, we heard from Constellation Brands. They beat analyst expectations on both earnings and revenue. Their Q2 earnings per share came in at $3.17, beating estimates by $0.36. Cents. Revenue of $2.66 billion was up over 12% year-over-year and beat analyst estimates by $150 million. Analysts currently rate the Constellation stock a strong buy with an average upside of over 17%. We also heard from McCormick, they did miss slightly on earnings but beat on revenue. Their third quarter earnings per share of $0.69 cents missed estimates by $0.03 cents per share. Revenue of $1.6 billion was up over 3% year-over-year and just beat estimates by $10 million. Analysts currently rate the McCormick stock a hold with an average upside of 9%. And we heard from Conagra Brands. They beat analyst expectations and reaffirmed their fiscal outlook. For their Q1, they reported earnings per share of $0.57, cents, beating expectations by $0.05 cents per share. Revenue came in at $2.9 billion, up 9.4% year-over-year, and $60 million ahead of expectations. For fiscal 2023, their organic net sales growth is expected to be 4-5% to year-over-year. Analysts currently rate their stock a hold with an average upside of nearly 6%. 
Let's see which stocks are this morning's biggest gainers and losers. Our biggest gainers this morning are led by Pinterest after one analyst upgraded their rating to a buy yesterday. Under the ticker PINS, the stock is currently up about 5%. They're closely followed by Clearway Energy under CWENA, up 4.98%, and Turkcell under TKC, up just over 4%. Our biggest <clears throat> our biggest losers this morning are led by Verisign, who's cooling off from gains yesterday. Under the ticker VRSN, the stock is currently down 5.4%. They're followed by Shell, who actually just went down a bit more than them. Under the ticker SHEL, down 5.46%. And ArcelorMittal, under MT, down about 5%. So that is going to be everything for Thursday's pre-market morning update, getting you up to speed with what you need to know before that opening bell. If you made it to the end of today's video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, say good morning in the comments down below, and make sure you have that TipRanks mobile app downloaded. Thank you guys so much for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you back here next time.